Hey everybody and welcome to part 8 of the Metric Minute, brought to you by Vault Performance. I'm Kareem Jakawi and today we'll examine the overall eccentric phase. This episode is a little denser, but understanding the concepts will really pay off. So let's go. A counter movement jump always starts with the athlete standing upright at zero velocity. This gentleman has a mass that's being pulled down by gravity at a constant force. In this case, a thousand newtons or roughly 225 pounds. Since he's pushing into the ground with an equal but opposite force, they're in balance and he stands still. To initiate his descent for the jump, he pulls away from the ground slightly and coils downward. Doing so changes the force balance like a seesaw. Since gravity is now larger, he accelerates downward. He will continue to accelerate downward until he passes this point of maximum eccentric velocity. His force output increases over time and decelerates his body until he's at zero velocity again, but this time at the bottom of his squat. He started at zero velocity, went into impulse debt to build speed, then had to go above and beyond body weight to return to zero velocity. However, he's now loaded elastically and ready to triple extend. These two impulses will always be equal. To summarize these concepts, a powerful explosive athlete will display an aggressive unloading phase, which will require them to hit the brakes hard and fast. This check mark is highly beneficial because they can achieve huge forces at zero velocity in minimal time, both of which are desirable athletic traits we discussed in previous episodes. Now this drawn out approach here appears in numerous situations, including heavier athletes who smartly choose to avoid exponential spikes in force, those who don't have sufficient braking power or strength to handle high rates of force development, as well as injured or perhaps fatigued individuals. There are other concepts to discuss, but this is a great starting point. Tune in next time to learn more about the connection between the eccentric and concentric phases. Until then, please feel free to reach out to myself or any of my colleagues at Vald. Thank you.